Hi guys, and welcome to my Simple Foods channel. Today, I would like to show you how to make lasagna. Lasagna is a great dish for you to make in advance for when you're having people coming over for dinner. It's just like making the spaghetti bolognese, just slightly different that you'll be using the lasagna sheets instead of the spaghetti noodles. You have to make also the white sauce, but finish it off in the oven. Right, let's go and check out the ingredients. You will need some minced beef, diced tomato, tomato puree, tomato paste, then you need over here the chopped onion, chopped garlic, beef stock, Worcestershire sauce, mixed herb, black pepper, salt, lasagna sheets of course. And for the white sauce, you need the plain flour, butter and milk. And also you need some cheese as well for topping. And what I have today is the shredded cheese and mozzarella sheets. Let's go cooking. To start off our sauce for the lasagna, first up you need to add some olive oil and then add your onion. Once your onion has browned up a bit, you want to add the garlic and brown them together. The reason why I don't put the garlic at the same time with the onion because garlic tend to get burned easily. So it will get burned before by the time the onions start go brown. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more of the olive oil and then my minced beef. Next, we are adding the beef stock. Put that in. Then we're gonna add one cup of water. Next up, we wanna add some herb. Roughly about one teaspoon. And followed by some pepper and around one tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce. Until now, you want to turn your heat down to around medium. So keep cooking your beef and then I'm going to add the diced canned tomato. Next up, tomato puree. Since there's so much stuff on the bottom of the can, I'm just add a bit more water in there so that I can try to wash out all the puree that's still in the can. And I'll just pour it back to the pan. And next up is my tomato paste. Now you want to put your sauce on a low heat. Next up is the salt. You would like to add around one teaspoon of salt, no more. Or actually before you add the salt, it's best to taste it first. And that's it for our sauce. You just need to put this aside. Then next, we are going to prepare the white sauce. For the white sauce, you will need 50 grams of butter. Let's try to melt your butter in the pan. Once your butter melted, you just want to add two tablespoons of the flour. Quickly whisk. Add your milk in slowly. This is one cup of milk. Add another cup of milk. And keep whisking. Wow. 
once your sauce is thickened, then it's done. Have both of your sauce ready and lasagna sheets. And now it's time to assemble your lasagna. What you need now is an oven proof dish like this. First, you add your lasagna sauce on the bottom. Then you put three sheets. And there, they can be overlapped, it's all fine. The next layer, again, the sauce. And then I'm going to add some of my white sauce in between. Make sure that your lasagna sauce covered your sheets so that it get cooked properly. And next, as usual, we're adding our white sauce. I keep most of my white sauce for the top layer. The in between just a little bit. But the top you want to put the most. Don't worry if you can't coat it 100% on top. Just as much as you can, by the time it's cooked, it will does it magic. Just like that. And next, you want to top it up with your favorite cheese. I'm adding my shada. Actually, this is my shada. Shada cheese first. Scattered everywhere. Because shada give me good, great flavor. And then followed by your mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. This is for that stringy texture. Now put your lasagna into the oven for about 25 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Mmm, time to check our lasagna. Let's have a look. Mmm, looks awesome. Look at this, perfect. And that's why it's perfect just for make a head. If you have someone that's coming, it's all done. All you need to do then just wait for it to cool down a bit and then you can cut them for serving. Well, thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoy this. See you next time. Bye!